In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to do a campaign in Eventbrite. And so this is the event page that I created with Eventbrite. It's a great place for people to purchase tickets. And as you notice, on the bottom it says start your campaign. So I'm going to click this button and then start it. So once you are here, you're going to make sure that you're selecting the right event. And this is the correct event. And this is the preview and just making sure that the price and the information is correct. After that, press next. So after you press uh, next, you're gonna go to the uh, add objective, drive traffic or increase awareness. Uh, I would say both of them are really good. It just depends on what you're looking for. Uh, if you want people to click on your ad or just show your ad to a wider community. For mine, I'm not just trying to increase awareness. I'm really trying to drive traffic to this. So I'm going to press this one. But again, it depends on your goals. If you like to know more, you can press this question mark right here and it kind of just explains a little bit more. Now the duration and budget. This is just entirely dependent on you, on your budget. You can spend a lot or a little. And for this one, we're going to do a low amount. And so we're going to do something like this. So this one is going to end on 25th. It starts on 26th, the event, but I would like it to end on the 25th. They give you some daily budget choices, but these are kind of expensive because you're going to see that this is daily. So the total budget up to this date, 25th, is 195 I'm not trying to spend that much on this uh, campaign. So let's just go with the custom and let's go as low as five. I think that sounds more reasonable. Uh, for this event, so I'm going to do that. But again, you could do 15, 25, 50, or anything that you desire. For my example today, I'm going to just do five. So for this section on location targeting, uh, we're going to type in the area that we want to do. These are very generalized areas. So as you can see on the map, we're actually located in Milpitas. You don't even see Milpitas on the map, but this is in the area. I would like to extend it a little bit more up north, possibly to San Francisco. So we're going to search right here and it may not have your city. So you do have to do a popular major city on this one. So I actually just typed in California like this. And as you can see, there's actually not a lot of options here. I do not want to go as far as Sacramento. That's way up north, but San Francisco sounds good to me. So I'm going to check mark that. So now I have two places, San Jose in San Francisco, California. And we want to do a 20 mile uh, for the radius. That's okay, but you can decrease it as well. For this example, I may just de decrease it to 15. We're going to press next. So this part is self-explanatory, I believe. You got to just put in your payment. So I'm going to put in my payment and go to the next section. Once you add it in your payment method, you're going to go to billing information and just make sure to read this because it says we'll charge you on the first of each month for the previous month's ad. For example, you'll be charged on July 1st for the June's ad spend. So daily is $5. Maximum ad spend is 65. Okay. After that, you want to check mark this. Okay. So once you check mark that, press review campaign. Okay. So you just want to review this. I like everything I see. I'm just going to press launch campaign.